we're back in the OC Food Diva Test Kitchen again, and we're trying a third recipe from the No Sweat Cooking Book. So, this is another cool, easy recipe with only five ingredients this time. Actually, four if you don't use the salt. So, salt is to taste. But we've got, uh, it's uh, Spam and Chinese Peas. So, it's kind of like your stir-fry uh, quick meal. So we've got snow peas, sugar, uh, spam. Um, the recipe calls for lower salt spam, but you can use the regular salt. If you're watching your salt, and based on the way this uh, cookbook is read for, you might be watching your salt for the seniors. And then uh, shoyu. You can use um, aloha shoyu, which we'll be using in Hawaii, or um, Kikoman has a low sodium show you as well. So either way, um, I prefer aloha, so we will probably use that. So let me go ahead and get started prepping. Okay, so if you're watching this uh, video, you're probably a newbie and want to cook uh, easy, quick and simple recipes, but you got to learn how to um, prep a snow pea. So I'm going to show you how real quick. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and remove the rib on the snow pea pod and it's right here and sometimes there's one that runs along this side but this side is usually tender so I wouldn't worry about it too much but if you want to remove that it's similar to like the string or the rib on a celery so if you don't like that stringy texture you might want to remove it so we're going to go ahead and chop the ends off and then we take there and then we've got the rib. You can try on the bottom to get the one on the bottom if you want. But this one's pretty tender on the bottom, so I was I wouldn't worry about it too much. But if you really don't like the string, then that's how you do it. Okay, so we've got our all of our pea pods done. Now we're going to go move over to the spam. And if you've never gotten spam out of a can before, it makes an interesting noise. Okay, so unlike spam wispy, which you would cut this way, we're going to cut it this way because we want about two inch um, long strips and then half inch thick, so we're going to go ahead and cut it this way. So, we've got our spam ready, and then um, we're going to go ahead and move over to the frying pan. Okay, we've got our wok and it's hot ready to go. Um, just want to mention, if you're kind of looking at the picture in the cookbook, and this, the spam was small. It, the Cutting it lengthwise that, that long, kind of hard to eat. So we just cut each strip in half. So you've got a little, kind of like a spam brick. So here we go. Gonna um, saute it in the wok for a little bit to get it a little bit golden brown before we add the vegetables. Because just like uh, bacon, you can't get that crispness once you add something that has um, water in it, water content, like you know, any kind of vegetable or spinach or whatever. So you always want to crisp up your your protein first, and then add your vegetables. now golden brown pretty much and we've rendered out a little bit of fat which will help when we add the snow peas so here we go here the 
the water hitting from the snow peas hitting the oil. So it's got that snap, crackle, pop noise going on. Okay, so our snow peas are ready. Um, you can tell by if the green and the, the pea comes out a little bit more and they're glossy. Now we're going to add our shoyu and sugar. I'm going to show you and sugar is kind of adding that umami flavor to the dish, balancing the salt and the sweet. So it's ready to go. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn the heat off. So we've got our Spam and Chinese pea dish here. Only five ingredients, actually four ingredients if you don't add salt. It smells wonderful. So you can smell the shoyu and the, the sweetness of the sugar, but then the kind of that quirky goodness from the salmon. So don't forget to buy this book, No Sweat Cooking from George Yoshida and Derek Carisu. Available at KTA Superstores and other places in Hilo. So buy it and you can get this recipe and make it on your own. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time. Mahalo!